today we are going to be doing something that these fellas and this fella request quite often. <laughs> we are going to make some meatballs. So, first thing we do is the sauce. Now this, this is actually really good for if you can a lot of... This is actually really good if you've had a lot of coughs and colds and flu and stuff because it's got lots of garlic in it. First of all, the sauce. Let's get started. Just want to heat up a bit of oil in a frying pan. Want to chop up. I'm going to use two onions all together in this recipe. I'm going to use about one and a half onions in the sauce and the other half an onion I'm going to use in the meatballs. So, I'm going to spare you all having to see me wearing onion goggles. They're just going to get chopped. See, just like magic, that onion is now chopped. And no one had to see my onion goggles. However, ah! Sam's wearing hers. You're fine, Olivia. Cook those onions up till they're just starting to soften. And then, two decent teaspoons of crushed garlic. Or two cloves of garlic. If you go with the fresh stuff. Mama? Yeah. I'm going to carry it out here. To add two cans of chopped tomatoes and juice. I just use the value brand stuff. going to add some tomato puree. Um, now this is a 400 gram tin, so about 200 grams of tomato puree. So I used the other half on pizzas last night. What on earth is tomato puree? Puree. It's like, it's like really super duper condensed <laughs> tomatoes. Concentrated. It means like really, it's like a really, really strong tomato flavour. I mean, why are there splodges there? Why are there splodges? Because that's what happens. People splodge things. How delicious it smells. Delicious <laughs> smelling, is it? And then you just want a little bit of salt and pepper. Can I dip my finger in this splodge? No, you may not dip your finger in this one. Little bit of pepper. Do you always put pepper in? In the meatball thing, I do, yeah. A bit of salt. Do you always put salt in? I do. And as far as sauce goes, that is it. Then you just want to just want to put a lid on and keep it warm while you make the meatballs. Why does it smell very nicely here? It does. They're yeah. meatballs. Meatballs. The flavour of that sauce is just really <laughs> nice, tomatoey, garlicky. It is really simple. It is really yummy. <laughs> right, we've lost two. We're going to one. <laughs> about 400 grams of mince. <laughs> we want about 100 grams of rolled oats. Now, not the whole rolled oats, just like the finely sort of crushed ones. I don't know if that's what you call it. And we want to finely chop that other half an onion. The onion is miraculously chopped. Just because my friend Annie gets embarrassed when she sees me wearing my onion goggles. But there's Sam wearing hers. <laughs> Rest assured, they were on. So we've got another, another nice heaped teaspoon of garlic. Can I have a finger of garlic? No. Ah. One teaspoon of curry powder. Tasty. You're not tasting curry ah. powder. As much as I'm sure it would make a great video. Me? Don't I'm going to smoosh it. So we're going to smoosh that together. Somehow I've lost all of my helpers. The cat caught a mouse outside. It's caused great excitement. <laughs> so. There we go, so that's, that's sort of really nice and solidy. I mean, instead of the rolled oats, you can also add breadcrumbs, but I'm just not patient enough to, to make breadcrumbs at the moment. <laughs> so 
so yes, the rolled oats is a shortcut. Oven tray. Line up the baking paper and make whatever size balls you want. I, I sort of yeah, I could make all sorts of jokes here, couldn't I? I won't because it's a family channel. But you know, I, I sort of make them about an inch by an inch, I guess. Got to make some balls. So just making them about that size, about sort of by an inch. So just, just grab a bit. I think she might just... That, remember this one. So that's sort of a good amount, Aston. You form that into a ball. Yeah, that's probably a good amount. Make that, make it into a sphere. <laughs> Mom, yeah, Not a sphere, more. is it? Yeah. A sphere is a three-dimensional circle. Like a circle is a flat shape. Like how you draw a circle on a piece of paper and it's just flat, isn't it? There's a sphere that's three-dimensional. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then, once all your helpers have finished making <laughs> meatballs, I want that. You only want to put those in the oven at about 200 degrees and they only take about 10 minutes to cook. <laughs> yes, give your hands a good wash, guys. That's a good, that's a good sphere, Sam. Right. No, don't make it into a person. <laughs> Come on, I want to get these in the oven. Got to put some water, some bit of salt into some pot of boiling water. And... <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> yes, there's Sam's tooth gap. Her tooth came out the other day. And just some Bud Joe brand sticky pasta, about 500 grams. Now, you can just chuck it in as long bits if you like the fun of that, but because I'm impatient, I actually break it in half so it all fits in the pot at the same time. By the time those meatballs have cooked, that pasta should be about ready.